you very much. It's the second leg. So we, we have a, a gentleman in the house and he's on a mission. And he says he will not stand behind the pulpit or stand on any big platform to lead with, but he wants to get to the grassroots underground and then inspire the next generation. It's not only a Ghana thing. I hear it's a West African and African project. So I have uh, the CEO and founder of Afri Kicks uh, in the house, uh, Umaru Idrisa. Did I get the name right? Yes, you got it right. Excellent. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> for sure, coming back to Ghana again, you know? <laughs> Now, now, tell me a little bit, or tell my viewers a little bit, maybe for the first time uh, they are seeing you on our screens, but you've been here before. Uh, yes. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your project. So my name is Umaru Idrissa. I'm from Niger. So Africa is a foundation that I created in Los Angeles uh, to get shoes, school supply to the people in need. So me growing up in Niger, I didn't get a chance to have shoes. But when I moved to America, God blessed me to be around a lot of people with many shoes. So I started collecting from 80 pairs of shoes. Now we over 300,000 pairs of shoes in nine countries. Wow. Currently, what do you do? I have a car service in LA. That's what I do for my living job. You know, so I started with it as a driver. Mm -hmm. And from there, I built myself up. Whoa. Yeah. Growing up, yeah. what really did you see that inspired you and you said you want to bring a change? So, you know, growing up in Niger, I never had anything. So I know it was tough for me. I have 25 brother and sister. My dad barely make $50 to support us. So I was working at 11 years old. I was selling water, colas, anything I can sell to make like 5,000 safer a month just to survive and to have a meal, you know? So I remember back in, I came, I have a history with Ghana. I don't know if you remember <laughs> that. In 2004, I flew to come to Ghana to look for a job. I remember that story. From Niger? From Niger, I drove all the way to Ghana. That's the, my longest drive I ever did, you know. So I came here to Accra from Boke, Kumasi, Kumasi, Accra. So when I came to Accra, I don't know anyone, you know. So I was just in the market. I saw a two young lady, they speak Hausa. So when I hear they speak Hausa, because I didn't speak English when I came here. So I was like, I talked to her, I said, she asked me where I'm going. I said, I'm going to Accra. She said, yeah, you're in Accra. She helped me, take me to Nima. She gave me one of the best rice and chicken. I will never forget that. <laughs> I swear to God. I hope I can find this lady. I've been looking for her. You've been looking for her, you can find her. For life. I've been looking for her, I can't find her. Wow. You know? So, and so since then, then everything changed. Since then, I got, I, I stay in Ghana, I hustle a little bit. I was doing those track, away, 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 you know, those tracks. The trot, trot, the yeah, trot, 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 trot. You did some? I did some in that. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, uh, and after that, I saved a little, little money. Then I went back to Niger. That's why I got a U.S. visa, you know, to then go now back to US. US. Now let's talk about your, your, your football project. Yeah. Why start from the grassroots? Why don't just, why, 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 what's because so unique about the grassroots? You know how, how it feels to have a youth, African, we love football. Football is a global sport. And many of us never had a chance to play with our shoes. We play barefoot or sometimes we even switch. If you have one pair, you get the left, I get the right. So we grow up like that. So be able to see, giving a, a pair of shoes, a boot to a kid, it's like changing his life. It's like encouraging him to be great. Or some of them walk mile to mile to school. For example, some country, if you're looking at classes, at 59 student, 47 come barefoot. You know, so I think it's very, people don't take it like shoes and sport, but shoes is very important to someone that doesn't have it. Great. And so uh, my director will be giving me some, some of the pictures. You played an under 12 uh, event at the Afro Arab Center. Yeah. Um, you've been doing this for a while now. This particular one you did, uh, what did you see on the faces of the, the children? Uh, what really did it tell you? Uh, yeah, you see the smile is priceless. Mm. You know, it's priceless to see those kids, you know, receive shoes, school give. And you see the way they react when that's why it motivated me and keep going, you know? And I wanna, 
I want to thank the New Africa Foundation because uh, the one that sponsored the container to come to Ghana. And we so, were, meaning you have containers that yeah, are full of the things? We, we, uh, we sent container 40 foot. 40 with foot the, container? Yeah, with the New African Foundation, the one that sponsored the container. So we was going to give uh, 5,000 shoes. This event that was supposed to happen, uh, what's it called? So we was going to give 5,000 uh, shoes to the kids, but the event got cancelled. So now we went to some school, Nungua, SDA. Okay. We went to Michael Blackson Academy. Okay. So we went to all these places to continue the distributing. So on our screens are some of the scenes. Yeah. Uh, I can see Alaji Salam Amadou. Yes, yeah, Salam. Uh, that's my African ambassador in Ghana. Great. Yeah. Uh, that, that man is an He's amazing. amazing. He's yes. always been like supportive and always show up. So that's why we name him our ambassador for Africa in Ghana. Mm. He, yeah. he, he also loves the youth. He wants to see transformation in the youth. Yes. He took me some places like in the market where the bench youth. It was like they need those shoes, you know, so we have to go give it to them, you know. No, we're going to be coming to Ghana. We're going to do great thing. Not just in Accra. We're planning on doing something in Kumasi and Tamale in the north side. So we want to continue supporting our people, you know. So, um, um, till what are you doing? When will you say, okay, I have paused. I have, I have achieved what I want to teach. When I be able to make sure every kid have access to shoes, because the plan is not just give them shoes, but the plan, the main goal is to have, create our own shoes here in Africa and have more people have access to it. You, you, you want to create a manufacturing hub where yes. you produce shoes mm -hmm. for all of Africa? For all of Africa. Okay. This it's, project is capital intensive, it's huge. Yeah. And you are saying that you're not only doing it in Ghana, you're doing it in other mm -hmm. African countries. So. Yeah, so far we're in nine countries, Senegal, countries. Gambia, Niger, Guinea Conakry, Ghana, Belize, Cuba. So we continue to go global with it. Mm. And all of them, you are, you are shipping shoes? Shoes. Everywhere we go, we get at least minimum 2,000 to 20,000 pairs of sneakers. Every country we visit. Yeah. How big is your team that helps you to uh, gather, gather, gather the shoes? So I have about at least six staff. Six staff? Yeah, I have three that travel with me everywhere we go, you know. And then I have bent at the warehouse, we got many people that support, some of them volunteer. And I have, uh, we have a lot of support in Los Angeles. We got a lot of volunteer from like the celebrity basketball player, some NBA, some uh, local people. So everyone love the project. That's why we we continue to grow. We can, now we have support with Adidas. And we got the Nike coming in. So we're going to continue just by growing, growing until we reach that level we want to reach. Yeah. Great. Before you check out from the studio, yeah. what message are you giving? Uh, here in Ghana, what is the plan? You come and organize everyday events and then just give the shoes or you plan doing something extra that will sustain um, the shoes. Okay. I gave you shoe this season. Mm -hmm. Next season, Maybe you come to check whether the shoe or whether they've improved. But what is the plan yeah. for Ghana? Yeah, like uh, everywhere we go, every country we visit, then we got follow up to see how how it's changed. Not only us to keep doing it, how it affect the people in Ghana. Mm. You have to love your country. You have to love the youth. You have to support them. No matter today what you have, you know, if you see somebody that need help, help him. God will watch out for you. You know, it's not about what you have, it's about how you help others. You know what I'm saying? Because we're all going to go, and you're not going to take nothing from me. So this youth population, I'm calling for all the people in Ghana, love your country and love your people. No matter who is it, if you have that in your heart, you're going to continue to be blessed and continue to uh, and the country will improve and everyone come together. Yeah. Great. So, viewers, that's Umaru, uh, Umaru Idrissa. Uh, Umaru Idrissa, yeah. Yes, yeah, so he's from uh, Niger. Yeah. But he loves Ghana. No, I, I, I love Ghana. And it's a beautiful country, beautiful people. <laughs> so, I want to thank my, my partner. I, I even brought someone with me that first time he came to Ghana. Winner G team, Corey Jacob. His first time coming to Africa.
So he love it, and he brought 20,000 tests, Ooh. you know, game to distribute all over Ghana. Wow. So I want to thank my uh, my partner that brought us here, New Africa Foundation, you know, for having us over here with Africa and continuing to love his country and make sure we support you. Great. Thank you very much. So that's yeah. been the page. It's been exciting. And we say more grease to your elbows and your team. Continue doing the good things. It says was whoever you are, it's not about how big you do it, but how, what is within the given. And so please try and put a smile on someone's face wherever you meet them. I am Theophilus Sampa. Uh, we say have a lovely day. Keep watching GBC News. Bye for now.